Hi, everybody. Tina Brock, the Producing Artistic Director here at the Idiopathic Ridiculopathy Consortium in Philadelphia. And I'm also your host for Into the Absurd, which is our weekly virtually existential dinner conversation. Uh, every Saturday at 5 p.m., we roll on up to the table and we talk to creatives and artists and all kinds of folks in the community in the Philadelphia region around the country and around the world. And we probe into what challenges them, what their artistic aspirations are, both now and when we come out, what is driving them, what they're thinking about, and what the path was that led them to make the artistic and creative choices that they do in their life. So these are a lot of the questions on the table. And we hope you'll join us because your questions in the chat box are a really important part of keeping that conversation stoked and keeping it alive. So if you're on the IRC's mailing list, you'll get an email from us every week with a link to come on into the Zoom room. If not, head on over to the Idiopathic Ridiculopathy Consortium's website and sign up for our mailing list. You can always join us streaming live on Facebook at Idiopathic Ridiculopathy Consortium at 5 p.m. And you can catch us on podcast at iTunes, iHeart, and Spotify. We, we make a podcast out of these episodes, and you can find almost uh, 30 some odd episodes over there now that we've been, uh, we've been putting together since June. On YouTube, that's another option for you if you're a YouTube watcher. And when you're there, we hope you'll subscribe and just stay up to date with the work that we're doing here. So we couldn't do it without you. It's been a real joy since June, and it's a project we intend to continue even after we get back on the stage. If we were on the stage right now, this time last year, we were bringing to you Eugene Inesco's The Bald Soprano. It seems like so long ago since we've been on the stage, but this has been our virtual opportunity and a time to really share time with the audience and with you. And we do so value all the time you've given us and all the support. And uh, it's going to stay. So even after we get back on to the stage, we'll still be exploring what drives people and what the art is that they're making in their studios and on the page and uh, on the stage and in the many places and ways and means in which our creativity finds a home. I hope you'll join us Saturday, September, no, not September, February the 13th, <laughs> getting way ahead of myself, when Zave Smith joins us at the dinner table. Zave is a photographer here in Philadelphia and also in New York, and exuberant, passionate, poignant, and philosophical are just some of the words that can be used to describe the portraiture of Zave Smith. He brings to life just the tactile experience of living in the world and it leaps off of these photographs uh, when you when you see them. I'm sitting in front of one of them right now and I can't wait to share with you a lot of Zave's work next week. It is uh, really something very special and uh, someone who's been very interested in photography for such a long time. I'm really excited to explore what drives him and how he really sees very deeply into each one of his subjects and how he's able to bring that alive. Uh, in the studio and out in the world where he is doing his work here in Philadelphia and New York. So that's Zave Smith next Saturday, February the 13th. I do hope you'll join us here and we're on, you know, obviously not able to bring you those existential stories right now on the stage, but there's certainly a lot of interesting existential questions being asked of all of us and challenging all of us in our work. And that overlay on the top of the creative work that's happening is what really drives uh, this show and what drives me in a mission to to get to know people a lot better and to share that beauty and that brilliance that they bring to the table with you all. So thanks so much for being here. I hope to see you then. Happy Super Bowl, everybody. If that's your thing, keep your mask off, be, keep your mask on, be safe, and we'll see you here um, next Saturday, February the 13th at 5 p.m. Be well. <laughs>